breathe. Well, I mean, a lot of us, a lot of us uh, go for what's being presented to us. You know, mm-hmm. there's an 
ad or commercials, hey, I'm gonna go get that. You know, without actually doing your investigation. Yeah. You know, I'll ask you, hey, Todd, how's it taste? Is it good? You like it? All right, I'm with it. Right, right, right. I'm hungry, right? See, I'm gonna that's eat, one right? of the problems. <laughs> that's one of the issues because we go indoctrination, and also we always got it always got to taste good for it to be good. Hey, I'm just saying, bro. Well, I'm if, just it, saying, if, it, right? if it doesn't taste good, I'm not gonna eat that, man. Well, I, I, I disagree. To it, listen, I'm not gonna eat that. Man. Back in the days when you got sick. Mm -hmm. And your mother came with that Roma tusted, you know what I'm saying? Whatever it was, <laughs> it might not taste good, but as long as it did the job, well, you see, know what I'm saying? In, in my opinion, that's a mix because when it comes to medicine, anything that tastes nasty, it's gonna work. <laughs> it's gonna work, okay? You know because saying? it tastes horrible, it has to work. Right. <laughs> but as far as foods, mm -hmm. like it really has to have a good smell or a good taste. You know that that aroma has to really, really make me want it. Mm -hmm. And see, it's to me, it's not so much um, the bad foods. Mm -hmm. You know, to me, it's it's the amount that you take in, mm. the amount of sugar, the right. am amount of carrots, mm -hmm. the amount of fried foods. Some people are just greedy. Okay, okay. your servings when you're going when you're going according to your body weight, which right. a lot of people don't go by because I guess it's just too much for them to figure out at the moment. Yeah. But you're going by your body weight and the food that you can take in. It's supposed to be at a minimum. Mm. Whereas you're supposed to have two chicken wings, you're like, I'm still hungry, give me four more. Right. 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 <laughs> so this is how things start to go left. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. It's not that you can't yeah, have a lot of things. You know, some things you should just totally stay away from, which is true. Right. You know, but like fried foods and things that we deem not good that people actually like to eat, you have to think about how their head is working too. So now if I'm telling you you can't eat fried food, you're saying, so what am I supposed to eat? Mm. And you don't want to starve yourself. And you don't want to see what I'm saying. So yeah. that can create a problem. So I tell that. people, don't eat so much of it. You know, you don't have fried chicken Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Like if you have a fried chicken Monday, then that's it until next Monday. You know, go You're find right another way that. to cook that chicken, man. Like, so that goes into all sorts of portion control. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Because I was stu studying the diets over the years. So now we get into the idea of portion control. Mm -hmm. They also had a diet where they start to show you also that. Listen, if you eat the food by the, the, uh, the, food by the family, mm -hmm. instead of trying to put all these different salads and berries and fruits and all these families together, sometimes you just need to, okay, let me just eat this, mm -hmm. or let me uh, just uh, eat the vegetable and the protein instead of adding all these different carbs. You got about five different carbohydrates, and then you're trying to put the meat. And then sometimes we don't even get the vegetable with it. Right, right. right. <laughs> you know what I'm well, saying? At, at that same rate, some people are just conditioned to breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You know what I mean? So if they miss breakfast, lunch, and dinner, they're trying to make up for oh. breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's the pressure cooker. You feel what I'm saying? You know? So it's like, you're supposed to eat when you're hungry. Not just because you see food. Okay? Not because it's there doesn't mean that you have to pick it up and take it in. You don't necessarily But you know what? Eat. A lot of other people are conditioned to time. Yeah. You see? The time factor. So now, as soon as it turns 3 o'clock, they got to eat. Got eat. Children in school, 12 o'clock, you know what I'm saying? And they're not even hungry, but So sometimes indoctrination, like when yeah. I talked to my dad, he said, listen, I don't eat till I get hungry. Facts. Like, what are you Facts. talking about? Facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. But it makes sense. If you look at a child, mm -hmm. or you don't get the child full, he hungry, you know mm -hmm. what he's going to do? He's going to start crying. Right, right, you right. You know what I'm right. saying? I mean, well, that, that falls into control as well, because with some people, they skip breakfast. Okay, so by skipping breakfast, you messing up the rest of your day as far as functioning and eating because now you're eating wrong and you're rushing, you're not digesting, you're not taking everything in. So the biggest, most important meal is breakfast, mm -hmm. believe it or not. Where it's misconstrued that everybody feels like breakfast has to be waffles, pancakes, eggs, sausage, like, scrap that, scrap that. There mm -hmm. is actually no such thing as breakfast food. I don't care what the store tells you. I don't care what anybody tells you. There's no such thing as breakfast food. There's no such thing as dinner food. There's no such right. thing as lunch food. When you're hungry, right. you're hungry. you eat. Right. That's, that's it. Math. So if you yeah. fill your tank in the morning, you're less likely to go off track later on during the day because you're still mm -hmm. digesting the good food that you put in. Right. Yeah. Now, according to um, uh, Terry Crews, I was, I was looking at the way he eats. Mm -hmm. Over the years, you know, he maintained a good physique, you right. know what I'm saying? And he does a lot of intimate fasting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, when I was doing the research, I found out that he's able to also just be able to uh, still keep the energy level, right? Still able to perform, do his weight training and all that. But he will take diuretics. Yeah, from my understanding. Well, you know, if, if you're if you're eats. taking your health serious and you're eating the right foods and drinking enough water, mm -hmm. you can sustain enough energy and right. power without having to eat every right. eight right. hours like right. that. You understand? Right. You have to know when, and that's conditioning. 
So, with that being said, let's get right. to our good foods, bro. Because we don't talk about good anything foods. you should not okay, be eating. Okay, let's talk about some spices. Let's talk about some things that we need to be eating. Let's talk about some spices. Of know? course we are. We're going to talk about these spices as soon as we come back from this break. That's right. We'll be right back. We you guys, get ready. We're going to talk about some food. We're kind of hungry, man. Yeah, man. Hey, what's up, peoples? We, back. we are back. If you're just catching up, this is Dear Summer, Body by Sandor, and we are talking about foods that control your mood. Right? That's right. So, through our first half, we already talked about the things that we need to avoid, the bad foods mm -hmm. and stuff that everybody's already ready eating, regularly eating, and we want to try to you know, implement some change in that. So let's talk about some of the good foods. All right, so let's talk about uh, some good foods. Okay, so mm -hmm. some alkaline foods. Mm -hmm. The herbs. Okay? okay, and one of the things that helped me remind me because my friend, um, he's 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 lost a lot of pounds, okay. and he told me, you know, when he's doing this practice, that this is also in the scripture about herbs are for the healing of the nations in the book of Revelation. Mm -hmm. So he showed me how you need to tap into the herbs, you know. So I look at what's in my house, like if I don't have no, uh, let's say, uh, some some uh, peppermint tea, because I get in tea form mm -hmm. sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I get my tea, dandelion, you know, chamomile, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I get some of those. I also sometimes get the herbs and spices. Okay. I look in there, I might have some, um, what you call that thing, cayenne pepper? Yeah. You know, some spices. Yeah, spices. spices, yeah. Get my spices going. Even if I don't use it in food, I put it in the water and drink it down. You know what I'm saying? He's serious. <laughs> <laughs> He's straight He's like serious. that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, back in the days when we came up, we, we would take the uh, warm water, we would take a little honey and mm -hmm. warm water, and then um, over the years, we also add a little cayenne pepper in it. You know what I'm saying? They call it that spicy water. Uh, <laughs> spicy. <laughs> I never had and spicy water. And I forgot the um, apple cider vinegar. My bad. I forgot the apple cider Well, we definitely vinegar. use that. Well, yeah. I like to eat a lot of greenery, man. Like, that's yeah. that's oh, where yeah. all of my yeah. strength is at. I'm not vegetarian. Uh, I'm exploring uh, in a little bit of the ways vegans and vegetarians eat. Mm -hmm. uh, just yeah. kind of tired of, you know, same old, same old, you know. But vegetables is, is where it's at for me. Different oh, yeah. color vegetables. Like carrots, yeah. uh, your asparagus, your broccoli, spinach, string beans. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times I'll have that as a meal without the rice mm -hmm. and maybe some protein to go with it and I'm good to go. You know, so oh. your vegetables are definitely important to you. Um, mm -hmm. I guess we should discuss real quick the way you should prepare your vegetables because if you put them in a pot of water, you're taking out all the vitamins, mm -hmm. all the minerals, yeah. Everything is in the water now. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. you get your string beans, or your, your spinach, or whatever yeah. it is, mm -hmm. it's going to taste plain. It's going to taste like crap because everything is in the water now. Right. So you have to find a better way to steam your vegetables, steam. Yeah. put them in the oven. Uh, but boiling them in water, yeah, it's going to be hot. Yeah, you're going to put yeah. all that extra crap on it after that to make it taste good. Yeah. So then you're going to yeah. destroy the vegetables. You know, so steamed vegetables, for me, is the best way to go. But you know what? They also did a research and um, they found out that um, I think they had a study mm -hmm. done and they had compared the spinach, the life force, the potency of the spinach. And mm -hmm. I think this was back in the 70s or 80s. And then it came up to nowadays. Mm -hmm. And they said it took about 30 to 40 bowls mm -hmm. of spinach to equal how much it used to be, how, uh, how potent it used to be. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So right. and they showed me this recently as we were talking about the telemeters. I said, what? Well, so basically they're saying that basically it's good to go vegan, organic, mm -hmm. but something's going on. Right. Well, I mean, mm -hmm. you have to fill your body out. Mm -hmm. You know, every day you're not in the mood for a burger. Every day you're not in the mood for pizza. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Sometimes you eat that chicken salad, it resonates well. It gives you the energy yeah. and the strength that you, you need. Choose so again, it all really depends on how you prepare the food. Mm -hmm. You know, you can get as much, well, actually, you can get more protein out of broccoli than you can out of chicken. Mm. Broccoli yeah. has more protein mm -hmm. than chicken does. You right. start getting tired of uh, baked chicken, steamed chicken, stewed chicken, whatever the hell you want to do with the chicken. Yeah. And you just really, really tired of it, the way I've gotten tired yeah. of it. Yeah. You know, I find another yeah. way to eat. Right. 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 Like I'll go for the I'll go for the greens and give it a break because you have to give yourself a cleanse at some point of these oh, yeah. foods that have been that's what I want to talk about. So I mean like yeah. drinking a lot of water, eating a lot of the vegetables, mm -hmm. it's gonna flush a lot of that out so like yeah. you get like a clean restart. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Wow. And uh, one of the brothers that I'm studying with uh uh Tario also when mm -hmm. I went to his class 
that was one of the first things he did with us. Mm -hmm. He was making sure we did the detox phase. Yeah, you have to. Sometimes we are not taught about that. Mm -hmm. It's not being spoken about as much. But getting out the junk. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I say right. junk too. I mean, the chicken now is not like it used to be. Right. So if, if it's junk, it's junk. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Facts. We taught to eat snacks, but a snack is not no potato chips. Right. Unless, you know, you got the right ones. Right, 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 right. right. Snack, what happened back in the days when you just had a tomato? You put a little salt on it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people not with it. You know, you know what I'm saying? Back, well, back in the day, we're not going to go yeah, too yeah, far yeah, back yeah, in the yeah, day. You know I don't know about that. We're not going to go too far back. We're going to go back yesterday, last month, yeah. two years ago. But, but we're going to do something is, like that. But what I'm saying <laughs> is, when you come into the grocery store, in our neighborhoods, yeah. it ain't like you're walking into Whole Foods. Well, it's a different type of selection. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For fact. And it's a different type of potency level. For fact. So my thing is now you have to choose why. If you're going into mm -hmm. a fast food restaurant, yeah. what do they which have on the menu? I'm going fast food anyway. That's <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Right, right. So my thing is now we, can, we shouldn't be running up like fans. You got to make a choice. Is it going to be McDonald's or Subway? Mm hmm. You feel me? Right. Where do they got that stuff that I know is going to push me? Well, I mean, and help not, me not, for, not for nothing. Do. Everything that can help and push you, you have to prepare, bro. If you rely on somebody oh, else to oh, prepare it, oh, you don't know what oh, you get. Man. See, so yeah, that's, exactly. a, that's a whole different caliber. Mm -hmm. I can walk to a Whole Foods. I can walk to the regular supermarket. I can walk to the, the fast food yeah. joint. And I can pick everything out of it to give me something to eat. It won't be what they advertise. Right. I would have to chop it up and, you know, mm -hmm. finesse it to get it the way yeah. I like it. And but the technically, the best way to eat. It's yes. prepare it and have it at home. You know yeah. what's in it. You yeah. know what's you know what's up right. with it. You don't know what's, what you're getting when you order sometimes. Mm -hmm. They don't explain to you the sauce mm -hmm. or, or the salt, the pepper, and oh, yeah. all, the, all that stuff they put in the mm -hmm. food or how they prepare the food or how they cooked it. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. you want to have peace of mind that you're getting a great meal and you're doing it good. You learn how to cook, man. Don't yeah. find somebody to do it. Yeah. <laughs> right. Now, one thing uh, Atari used to do in the classes we talk about food, yeah. he would always have us prepare our food and take it with us. Uh -huh. So now when you go to work, you get nothing but fast food restaurants That's around right. you. That's right. That's right. You have no choice. That's right. I mean, you have a choice. Yeah. Now, if you got your food with you, you know what I'm saying? We would carry our herbs with us. Mm -hmm. Every two hours, we're taking our herbs. We used to call the formulas. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And boom. And, and just, I'm telling you. I mean, I keep it real with you. I mean, it took a lot of discipline, but it was worth it. I keep it real with you. While I'm at work, when I'm at work, bro, if there's not the right foods around me, trust me, I've got up early enough that I can have a light breakfast. And for those eight hours that I'm at work, I'm drinking nothing but water, and I'm fasting until I get home and get to the good food. Mm. I'm not going to put the right. bad food in my body. I know wow. I can sustain so long problem. enough to get back home and get what I need so I don't mess up mm. what I'm working on. Wow, you know what I mean? Yeah, so that's important. Food for you, that that food that food, you like for your mood, food, like yes. it, it requires a lot. As you can see, we're having a long conversation on this because there's a lot of tidbit things in there that you have to, you know, consider before you decide to put something inside your body. You want the best results, then you have to be sure. You know, you have to make sure you eat the right things, not the wrong things. Mm -hmm. You have to make sure you're preparing it or somebody you trust is preparing it, so mm -hmm. that you can get everything out of it. Okay. You don't want to work this hard to lose everything off of crap that you mm -hmm. ate. You know right. what I mean? So. With that being said, I guess you guys should just really focus on better health. You know the things you're not supposed to be eating. You know what I mean? Try to slow it down to a minimum or find a better solution. Get yeah. more into your vegetables. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Not so much the uh, breads and the rice. You know what I mean? Because that kind of leads you to be a little oh, bit, yeah. you know, no, yeah. I still got a little bit yeah. I'm trying to get rid of it. <laughs> you know what I mean? But in all seriousness and honesty, you know, you really do want to consider working hard on your health. You know what I mean? So. We want to talk more about the foods that they should be eating. Mm -hmm. We got to do vegetables. Yeah. We, we understand that Spice broccoli meat. is, you know, probably just herbs. as good as chicken. What else can they eat? Because food's getting boring, bro. Well, what, we got, what, what else can we eat? Well, uh, aside from the foods, we also got to talk about the water. You know, what kind of water are you drinking? Let's see. Go back into the food because you're yeah. playing with water, man. What's in the water? Right, but look. What's in the water? Mm -hmm. The what's fish it? is in the water, man. The mercury, yeah. Fish is a good food for you. You don't eat fish? None? You looking yeah. at me crazy like, you know, I do you know what the fish is? <laughs> <laughs> looking at me sideways like, you forgot what the fish is. You know what fish is. He got kids. Occasionally. Occasionally. He got kids. You know what fish is. He gave me a look like, a fish? What's that? <laughs> like, I've never heard of fish. But what I'm saying is. You know what it is? It's like, it's fish, but it smells like chicken. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, no, you right though. I mean, also. But I got the fish oil though. I got I mean, fish oil. You know why? Because uh, the wild is almost like, too, 
You have to go to the source. Fish oil? Yeah. Listen. 369. So where the fish oil coming from? 369. Where the fish oil coming from? And which what's one are you talking about? Where the fish oil coming from? All of them. They come from a fish, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. so we're talking about the fish. Course. Yeah. <laughs> we're not talking about the water. Yeah. We're not talking about the fish oil. The fish. We're talking about the fish. fish. And you the know fish what? itself. I'd rather the trout, that, one that red snapper, that whiting fish. I'd rather choose that than actually choosing protein powder. There's a lot of things that they're not knowing that they can yeah. eat, bro. Yeah. That's what we're talking about right, right now. Right. The foods that you can't eat. And everybody's eating chicken. Yeah. Everybody's eating steak. But a lot of people are forgetting about the fish. And I was you know how many people the live off of fish? fish? Too. You know how many people live off of just fish yeah. alone? Mm -hmm. They have their whole yeah. life and they make a living off of just eating that, that fish. And they're yeah. healthy and they're good. Mm -hmm. You understand? It all depends on how you prepare the fish, though. Yeah. And where you get it from. Back you remember uh, Charlotte Monks? All day, and all fish. day. Yeah, fish, and fish cakes, really fish good. this, yeah. fish that. My my thing is, it's another source of food. It's something else you can go to Protein. before you get right. bored. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? You can prepare fish with a lot of different dishes. Right. You know what I mean? It all depends that. on the fish that you like. Now, me personally, my favorite is the rainbow trout. Rainbow. Okay. Now I don't even know if I taste that. One. <laughs> I'm a big I'm a big trout fan. Uh, -huh. uh years ago, my dad took me out to uh Maryland Lake Trout. Okay, mm -hmm. and that fish was something mm -hmm. else. I had never had a fish like that before, bro. Mm -hmm. And I kind of got. Was it? Oh, it was big. It was. It was big. It was okay. big, bro. You know what I mean? I had crab legs and all that crap. You know, years, years ago. <laughs> but um, yeah, like the the um the fish was really really good to me. So I kind of really got stuck into the trout. But the other fish that I like, but it's a little bit oily, is the same. See, a lot of people have a yeah, lot of up and downs about the salmon, but again, it all depends on how you cook it. Fish is very delicate, so you can't fry it like you do chicken or mm. leave it that long in the yeah. oven like you do a steak. Yeah. It's, it's delicate, so you got to be honest. See, that's why I know about the fish and you don't. Know. Fish man. <laughs> but, yeah, fish is definitely another choice yeah. that uh, you can go to and prepare. Um, let's talk real quick. Before we get ready to say goodbye, yeah. you know, for our next episode, before, I want to talk real quick about sauces, okay? Sauces. Yeah. Okay. Like, sauces is what makes the food pop. Yeah. A lot of people are going to these restaurants because of the sauce that they put on the chicken, the yeah. sauce they put on the fish, right. the sauce they put on the steak or yeah. the burger. You know what I mean? Yeah. So these are the things. Not the McDonald's for me, burger, right? No, no, not, not, that. not the Popeyes. I used to like the special. Not that even. Special <laughs> sauce, lettuce, cheese. <laughs> you remember that? Special <laughs> sauce, lettuce, cheese. Brick. Quick. Well, we're going to tell y'all what that, that special sauce is because it really is crap, man. It's just ketchup and mayonnaise. But we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we got some more to talk about, but I want to get y'all a McDonald's secret. That's right in the kitchen. That's right. Ain't nothing but mayonnaise and ketchup, man. Special sauce, my boy. <laughs> We done took our break. I'm sorry I had to spoil the McDonald's sauce for you guys yeah. on our last break. <laughs> it's nothing but ketchup and mayonnaise. I'm serious. Hello. <laughs> but sauces actually contribute to the taste of foods that make them actually taste well. Right. So we are talking about foods that affect the mood. And for me, sauces do it. They affect my mood. They make oh, yeah. me happy. Sometimes they make me drink oh, yeah. a tip. <laughs> <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, it's, I don't know, for me, it's a little bit harder to learn how to chef the sauces at home, so I need a little bit more studying, you know, a little yeah. bit more research to figure out, you know, the finesse, how they finesse yeah. the sauces. Yeah. yeah. But and it's sometimes you got I love it's, sauce in my Sometimes food, it's right? like an experiment thing. I was yeah. actually watching somebody prepare yeah. a meal, and um, they was using the uh, sauce, and, and I was looking ah, the way see? they did it. See? And who I think sometimes you got to get a taste tester, you know, yeah. hands up. Yeah. But the main thing I like it too when the sauce has some life into it. Mm -hmm. They might be able to add another element. Right. You know what I'm saying? To the sauce. And you say, like, oh, yeah, I like this. You See, know what I'm saying? This is what we're talking about right now. We get hungry while we're talking about especially, This is what we're talking about. Especially if you have like a crowd that has maybe diabetes, you know, they yeah. can't eat too much salt. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to make it too, oh, man, this get, this joint is like too hot. Right, know, right, that's right, good right. for your metabolism. Well, I mean, spices right. spices is good for all of that. But again, if, like, if somebody's having an issue, then they need to be yeah. more careful of how their food is prepared. You know, so we talked about bad so foods, serious. stuff that you just kill it. totally I'll, should I'll avoid, that's yeah. not good for your body. Uh, we talked about good foods, great foods, mm -hmm. and then we talked about those actual foods that actually mess with your mood. Mm -hmm. Now, 
I haven't had too many foods that I mean, maybe I'm greedy. <laughs> I haven't had too many foods yeah, yeah, that, I that so. make my, my make my mood bad. Um, so I guess whenever I'm eating, I'm happy <laughs> unless the food is bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but moods, foods that if, keep saying it backwards, foods that affect your mood, sauces is number one for me. But you know what? Aside from sauces, I, I read that even if you get to exercise and you eat the right food that affects your mood. Well, that your mind, that your, like mindset, your mindset can also affect your mood too. Think about it like this. If if you eat something that affects your mood and it's good for you, this is good. Oh yeah. Yeah, you're happy, you feel your good. Right. You know, you're yeah. saying hello to people, you're doing what you gotta yeah. do. But if you eat something and so let's say it doesn't make you sick, but you didn't like the way it tastes. Oh, you taking that on everybody you see. Now what if somebody else everybody you see? somebody else ate something? And now they boom and they bring it in at you, and you got the, all that stress. I'm just gonna offer them the sauce. You know, you heard of <laughs> I mean, you heard of that cortisol. That cortisol is real. We learned about that when we were doing the PT training. Right, right, right. That right. cortisol, and I was like, wow. They said, yeah, you're doing all them six. You're doing all yeah. them ad work. You eating mm -hmm. all that good fish and that sauce, and but you got all that stress in your brain. Right. Well, I mean, working out is supposed to relieve a lot of stress, so mm -hmm. you kind of do that like chain command. Right. Eat something good. Make yourself feel great. Yeah, working for that stress. Yeah, and that. and I and I and I definitely throw on a song or do some meditation. Yeah. I mean, in the morning. being in a good mood is all about you. Yeah. Okay, so I know when I'm eating, that automatically puts me into a good mood. When I'm in you the kitchen, state. I don't mind chef. You see, I just get a you nice look. <laughs> <laughs> a lot because uh, I have physical goals that I want to keep in place. Yeah. So the way I eat is very important to me. The way I exercise is very mm -hmm. important to me. Mm -hmm. But I'm a jovial person. So whenever I'm eating, whenever I got the sauce, oh, you, you I'm a happy guy. Right? <laughs> oh, I can't wait till I'm a happy guy. Down. We having problems. We not getting along. So offer me some food, man. We be all right. All right. <laughs> Let's break bread. Let's break bread. You know what I'm saying? I told you I'm a fat kid with everybody, man. Like to eat, so I gotta just keep working out yeah, so I don't yeah. blow up. I just wanna, you know, so yeah, yeah. it's a constant struggle, man. A lot of y'all feel me out there, don't y'all? Yeah. So I do. <laughs> How about you? I mean, on a, on a regular, real quick, real quick before we go too far left. Yeah. Um, the latest time you feel someone should take it to me. Ooh. Because that's a big one with a lot of people. Uh, we we don't want to spend too much time on that. Uh, I would say um, the latest time you should be taking a meal is nine o'clock. Nine? Yeah. Well, I wanted to say eight. Say seven. That's too early, seven. Well, still, we'll have to get it work late. Let me put it late. to you like this, real quick, okay? When it's late, and whether you eat seven or not, and you're down. starving, you gotta eat, right? Yeah. So I say shape it up like this: go for all your vegetables, jump kind you like. Mm. Whatever protein you want to put on there, mm. scratch some starch. Mm. You don't need none of the starch, none of the bread. You potatoes. like that? I like <laughs> that idea. Get rid of that. Mm -hmm. You need the protein. You need your vegetables. That's what you need. It'll get you through the night. It'll get you through the night longer without you feeling fat, greedy, and all that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah. When you, you eat like that morning, night, you back on regular yeah. track, man. Yeah, yeah. I like you know that. I, mean? I used to do that a lot. Eat like that night. Facts. Don't be trying to put the heaviest meal. You <sighs> should have been eating that throughout the day so you could burn it throughout the day. And see, that's you what know? breakfast is about. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, with that note, right. we're going to get ready to say goodnight to the peoples. You know what I mean? We could talk about good foods. We talked about bad foods. We talked about those foods that affect your moods. Boom. Right? <laughs> We had fun. We're going to see you guys on the next episode. And make sure you check in and rewind so you can hear all the good That's stuff right. we talked about that food if you missed it. All right? I'll fight you guys you. have a good night. We'll see you next time. Get up, mama got a lot of shit back it up